The coach. Many people ask me this question. Why do you call yourself the coach? Are you a basketball coach? Are you a life coach? What do you do? Why do people call you that? And simply, I'm not going to sit here and explain it through my words. This time, you guys get a little different bird's eye view or let's say point of view from a different perspective of who the coach is. I'm not here to promote self-righteousness or gloat or say that I'm at a higher position mentally, physically or spiritually than y'all. We are all the same. We are all equal. We all serve one God. And we all deserve love, positivity, joy, inspiration. So I'm just here to promote and spread inspiration, purpose-driven mentalities, and love, positivity, joy, inspiration. Again, as well. This is what I'm here to do with this documentary. And the last thing I'm going to leave you with before you guys get into it is, what is your why? And now you guys are questioning and thinking about it, which I want you to. And what I mean by that is what is your why? Why do people call you this? Why are you in this position in life that you're in? Why are you doing things different than others? Find out what is your why and what is your purpose? Now enjoy the documentary, stay positive and inspired. Be great and blessed and never stress. Peace. So my first question is, what's the most impactful thing you've seen or heard the coach do? Probably your co your clothing line. It's like the inspiration and stuff you put on it. Or just so you be supporting your followers and people you know. All right, okay, next question is, who's the coach to you and how, or how would you describe him to others that don't know him? To me, my one of my best friends or my best friend. No, since what, seventh, seventh, fifth, sixth grade, something like that. Uh, a brother, uh, somebody that's like a leader, somebody supports you, inspirational. Pretty much it, an over. Okay, last question is Has the coach inspired you before? Yeah, plenty of times. Mostly back in like our JV days. When like I had a confidence issue, like in my performance, but he'll always talk me into it, help me out, stuff like that. that, that that's what it is. Gotcha. All right, last question: What would be your message to the people? You know, if you could give a little inspiration message. Uh, just push, grind. That's all it is. Hard work pays off eventually. All right, thank you for your time, sir. Yeah. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 through 7. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. That love is the love of God, ladies and gentlemen. It's unconditionally there, and it's the love that I continue to spread because it doesn't keep no records of nobody's wrongs. It doesn't boast while our brothers is down or our sisters is down, but it's patient, it's kind. We gotta continue to spread the love, y'all. And that's why I'm here to do, spread love, positivity, joy, and inspiration. I truly do love y'all. And this is the love I mean I love you guys with. Because it's unconditionally, no matter what you do. You're still love. I'll still be here for you guys. I'm here for, made for, and raised for. To spread the love, positivity, joy, and inspiration. Here are my boy Ty. That's Dane's kids. So I'm going to be asking him three questions. Yeah. All right, so the first question is, what's the most impactful thing you've seen or heard the coach do? The most impactful thing I seen the coach do, honestly, bro, just always positive. You feel me, bro? Just always, you know. I feel like, like the document, his last documentary, like that was on some other stuff, like with the drone and everything. That was really like something different. Like nobody's doing that. Like, bro, really create music. 
bro be doing the basketball mixtapes for the community, bro be doing the 2v2s two at the park, like, bro, always positive, you feel me? And, like, bro, just be, your bro's creative as, as, as life, like, let me not curse, but bro's creative than mud on me. So I'd probably say the documentaries is really, like, that's probably the toughest one. Like, this one, I already know this one gonna be tough because the last one was tough, so I already know this one's tough. So I'd probably say that's the most impactful because it's not a lot of people known in Victorville for doing a lot of great things. So I'll say, like, Coach really trying to, like, really put everybody on the map that he knows is, like, to be great. So I'll probably say the whole documentary thing that he's doing is really, like, tough. I'll say that. All right. So my next question is, who's the coach to you, or how would you describe him to others that don't know him? The coach, uh, he, he real a real positive dude. Very, very, very positive, very uplifting. Um, very chill, like, bro, he probably the chillest dude, I, I, I think I met Coates in my junior, and I didn't, we wasn't really cool like that, but, like, I used to see bro rock around school, he used to just dap me up, I'm like, I already know you like that, but, like, what's up, bro, like, bro, was just cool in that, you know, over time, we became cool and stuff, but, bro, never got a friend, bro, always positive, bro, always on his grind, you feel me, bro, and got better at hooping and all of that, so, I probably, if somebody who never met Coates, I'll describe him as, like, bro, chill, he really, really chill. He's always positive. He's just a good, a good human being. And not a lot of them in the world, but bros, for sure, one of them. Okay. Right. Last question is: Has the coach inspired you before? Oh yeah, most of bro, for shows be yeah. The stuff I be seeing coach do, like a couple times, I don't watch this video, and it for shows made me like get up and like go make some videos or like stay on my grind and like go do something. Like bro is just positive. Like I see coach do some positivity. I'm like, let me go do some positivity. Like, bro, for sure, be inspiring. Like, bro's really, like, you feel me? He's really an inspiration to the youth. Like, no cap. Like, he for sure be out here doing his thing. Opposite shows, you know, his videos, his editing skills, cool. You know, his basketball, just everything about the coach is just positive and uplifting. So it's definitely, you know, a trickling effect, you know, down to anybody who's around him or any, anybody who's next to him or close to him, whether it's you watching a video or hooping with him or just being around him, you know definitely a good person so positivity good energy all that so so all right last thing i'm gonna say what would be your advice to i guess the youth or people that's like trying to do stuff in their community trying to um like take off if it's not even just youtube just something they want to do to help give back like what would you be their advice to if they're what would trying be to my advice <laughs> my my advice would be don't 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 give a f don't give a fuck to be honest with you like my advice was just like, don't care about what nobody thinks. Do what you do, bro. Be yourself. Don't try to be fake. Don't try to do something. No, a good and dang well, that's not your character. You know, just be yourself. Do you. If you want to edit a certain way, edit edit a certain way. Don't look on YouTube how to edit and try to copy that editing style. Edit, be yourself. You know, be your own create creative person. Create your own content. Um, never give up. Be consistent. That's another one. Be consistent. And, you know, just be different, bro. Have your own style, have your own drip, have your own character. Because, you know, once you have all that, that's that's what makes you stand out. And then that's what makes you grow. And that's what makes people, that's what grows your fan base. Or that's what makes you just pop. So I would say don't give up. Be consistent. And be different. That's the biggest one. So be different. Yeah. Sir, appreciate, appreciate my guy for his time, man. Y'all see the fit, though. Mm -hmm. We gonna get that one. But I right, People always say strive for greatness what's your purpose i am those people as well to say greatness is inside of you greatness was always there when you was first born your purpose was always there when you was first born people say strive for greatness strive for greatness strive for greatness and y'all look at greatness towards mj kobe lebron even as actors and actresses you look up to, such as Denzel Washington, Will Smith, every one of those, singers, artists, King of Pop, Michael Jackson, y'all look at them as greatness, that's greatness. But I'm here with to tell you greatness is the quality of being great. It's not great because of how much quantity of things you have or accolades that you completed in life but it's just the quality of being great that means you guys all have greatness inside of you it's been there the whole time because it's a quality 
not quantity. So continue to strive for greatness. Continue to be great and bless and never stress. I'm my boy Jordan. Um, his Instagram will be on the screen. So I'm here to ask him three questions. So First question is, what's the most impactful thing you've seen or heard the coach do? What I usually see, what I usually see you like on social media, like you, you go on people's like comments and like, like people that think are doing well, you you'll actually say something to them, which is cool. I like that. I love it. And then when everyone, when, when someone's feeling down, you help them out, make them, you uplift them. You do, I love it. So next question is, who's the coach to you or how would you describe him to others that don't know him? Oh, you're my brother. You're someone that is caring, wholehearted, you believe in God, you believe in what is right. You don't do bad things at all. You're one of those people that you should always have a friend because all these people now, nowadays, they're nothing. They're all fake. True. 100%. All right, last one is, has the coach inspired you before? Yes, you have. I never see on time I'm trying to do, like, um, live streaming or photography. You're always there. You're behind my back more than anybody else. Um, you don't bring me down. You don't say, oh, that's a bad idea. Oh, you shouldn't do that. You're actually there for me. I appreciate that a lot. No problem. All right, last thing I would just say, it's not a question. What would you give, like, advice to anybody that's trying to start something, especially around our ages that, you know, people that's out of high school or been out of high school for a year, like, what, what would you uh, give them? Like, what would you say to them? I would say follow your dream. Don't let people sidetrack you. Um, say if, like, girls and stuff, say if you're a guy and all these girls are distracting you, don't let that happen because I did, I did the same thing. It distracted me, and I'm still trying to get to doing what I want to do. It's just like, don't let people distract you. Um, always stay consistent with everything. Mm -hmm. Don't, oh, uh, let me do it this, let me do it this day. Then a few months go by, and then you want to just start doing it again. Like, nah, you got to keep it consistent day by day, because people that are already up there make a lot of money. That's what they did, that they did the grind and mm -hmm. everything. Facts. That's how you get up. Thank you for your time, sir. Sir. My boy VG the GOAT Vinny, man. Yes, sir. Here to ask him three questions. So let's get started. The first question is What's the most impactful thing you've seen or heard the coach do? Alright, so real talk, the most impactful thing I've seen the coach do is probably the little um the little mini documentary I'm talking about putting the bill on the map. Just cause, you know, it's not how do I explain it? It just like gives hope to people in this city, like everyone in this city. Victorville's a small town. You go to like LA and tell someone I'm from Victorville, they're gonna be like, who? So, you know, it just kind of gives hope to people in this city that are in similar situations, shows that anyone can make it out. I mean, even though like none of us have officially made it out yet, it just shows that, you know, we're all working towards the same goal and we're all just inspiring to, or aspiring, wrong word, to, you know, make it out, be great. But even if we do make it out, we're still trying to get back to the city at the same time. So, so all right. Second question, who's the coach to you or how would you describe him to others that don't know him? All right, so how we met was at InShape. As if y'all know what InShape is, it's a gym that has a basketball court in it, basically like a 24-hour fitness. So that's how we met. And then, like, at first we weren't really close. How did we get close, bro? Just from, like, Instagram, huh? Like, yeah, seeing, Instagram collabing, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, the first time we actually like met and, and hung out was when we were with the homie Justin. Shout out to Justin. Yeah, Jay for real, man. Yeah, we were both filming, or I was filming a 1v1 between him and Justin that Justin never uploaded. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to him, bro. And then we just kicked it that whole day, and ever since then we've just been close. So like, so. we got the type of relationship to where it's like, we both help elevate and push each other to be the best that we could be, and I mess with that, you know? If you got someone that has like similar goals to you and you guys are both helping each other out, those are the type of people that you want in your life. So I appreciate my guy. And, you know, if one of us makes it, we all make it. So, 100%. Facts. Facts. Big facts. Last question is Has this coach inspired you before? Um, 
And the document, like him filming this documentary and the mini documentary, that inspired me to kind of want to make my own. I don't think I have enough ideas to start one yet. But it's just, you know, as both of us being YouTubers, sometimes, you know, you know I'm sure like I've done a few videos that kind of inspired you to want to do a similar thing. And then, you know, you do the same thing for me. So it's just, you know, personally, we both push each other to be the best we could be. So I'm sure we each inspire each other like in a personal way. But like when it comes to the content creation side of it, I see some of the stuff that he creates. And I'm like, okay, this is inspirational. I kind of want to implement something like that into my channel. Like, not steal the idea, obviously, mm -hmm. but, like, learn from it and, you know, make my own type of content out of a similar idea. So, word, word, word. facts. All right, so what would you give, you know what I'm saying, the kids? Like, what would you say to the youth right now or people that's trying to um, maybe not necessarily do YouTube, but just, like, Something that's an entrepreneur side of thing, like be their own boss, and like, what would you, what advice would you give to them? To the youth? Yeah, to the youth or somebody that's trying to reach a goal right now. I wouldn't say not necessarily YouTube, but like they want to do clothing or fashion or anything. Like, what's your advice to them? <laughs> right, real talk. My advice to the youth would be to be yourself, think for yourself. Don't let no one tell you what you can and can't do. And if you work hard enough, you could be anything you want to be. Like, well, this fly just flew past my face, my bad. Anything you could think of, you can manifest it into reality. And by manifest, I don't mean just think about it and it pops up. I mean, you have an idea, you envision it, you work hard towards it, and you make that a reality. So that's what we're all trying to do right now. Me, the coach, all the upcoming content creators in our area, we all have one goal, and that's to make it out, give back. Well, we all have one goal, obviously, but we all have different things that we might want to accomplish with that goal. But my advice to everyone would just be, I mean, this is simple, it sounds cliche, but work hard, be yourself. Stay true to yourself, you know, mm -hmm. chase your passion, not money. Mm -hmm. like money will come as long as you're aligned with your purpose and you're working hard. Oh, right. At the end of the day, money has no value. What, what really does have value is your happiness, though, and the impact you have on this world. Mm -hmm. So, that's my advice to the youth. To my boy VJ Spoken Truly, man, I appreciate you for your time, dog. Yes, sir. Now that we're more deep into the documentary, I hope you still have that question of what's my why? Why am I here? What's my purpose? Keep asking yourself that. Keep letting that statement, well, not statement, question manifest or resonate with your soul to say, what's my purpose? What's my why? Why am I on this earth? What am I here to do? Let that sit with you guys. Let that resonate with you guys. Just know I love y'all for real, for real. God loves y'all most importantly. And what are you here for, made for, and race to do as well? Figure that out. What's your why? What are you here for, made for, and race for? I love y'all. Stay blessed. Stay great and blessed and never stress. Stay positive and inspired. Um. You know, her Instagram be on the screen, both of hers. I'm going to ask you three questions. Answer them to the best of your ability. What's the most impactful thing you've seen or heard the coach do? Hmm. I would say the most impactful things that I have seen um, the coach do is um, being there for his um friends um in a way that you know i feel like others wouldn't or at his age feel like that they would have the time but his uh genuity of his heart so he has really really been there for his friends and meaning not just like oh i got you but just someone that they really can talk to uh, come to and um, he actually, like, he goes all out that even when it's over, he'll just be like, Mom, can you just keep them in your prayers? Um, you know, they just going through things of life and just can you keep them in your prayers that, you know, um, God can truly turn things around for them and touch them. So that's the most impactful thing is that he, he has been putting himself out there um, for those who just need a, a friend. Alright, next question is, who's the coach to you or how would you describe him to others that don't know him? Well, I actually do describe to others um, when, 
you know, it was funny because we were out having lunch, you and I, coach. <laughs> and um, some ladies that was our server as well as the manager had came up and they basically was like, oh, I like what you're wearing or whatever, this is and that. And then, you know, I was like, well, that's who he is. That's his brand, you know. He uh, stands for just spreading love, joy, peace, and positivity into other people's lives. He believes in being what the Bible says, like, you know, and exercising even the fruit of the Spirit. So he feels like, I found my purpose, Mom, and that's to spread love, joy, peace, and positivity into other people's lives. And so that's how I was able to even describe the people to him. And I was like, and, you know, he's an upcoming YouTuber who get trying to get videos out of just sharing this message to others. And then all of a sudden they was like, oh, well, what's your YouTube thing? And, and I have a, a son that does YouTube or so-and-so that does YouTube. So basically that's just what I describe him, that he's the one that he's just upcoming that you know he has a dream and he's pursuing his dream so that's who the coach is to me you know the brand the person All right. the legend yeah. <laughs> <laughs> alright the last question is has the coach inspired you before well I know some people be like really boy that's your mother <laughs> but in all honesty, um, yes, there there's things that in in lessons, um, like the Bible says or whatever, if you guys have not known by now, that um as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So I'm that mother that I raise my kids in God, the things of God and you know, the heart of God. And so there are times where even when you can be strong for someone else. And you can um, say that you're leading them and you're being the example. There are times where you don't feel like leading and you don't feel like being an example. And so in those times or in those moments that I myself have had or experienced, Michael, the coach, would just say or do something that would be so profound. And you're like, wow. So out of the mouth of babes. So even in his youth, which he goes off of First Thessalonians, I, uh, let nobody despise you because you're so young or to not think. And so he's taking that scripture to run with it that, you know, if, if God gives me something to say or put something on my heart, I'm going to say it. And, you know, without no questions or no fear, because mom, this is what you've put into us. Um, to show us the way and so he's become to a person where he inspires me that he's of his own he does his own whether it be his hair to what he wants to wear as his clothing how much ever he wants to charge what he wants to do that he believes in himself he believes in mom I can be everything that God says that I can be and then he flips it around and it was just like I believe in you mom you know and you, you know, God said it, mom, I believe in you. We're going to get this thing going, mom. You know, I'm, I'm going to sow into you, mom. I'm going to do this and do that for you, mom. Or even when he tells me, like, I can hear him talking to his friends, like, yeah, you know, my mom's and, you know, she's, she's been there for us. And, you know, and so I'm, I'm going to do this for my mom's. I want to sow this and do this for my mom's and all that stuff. So it's inspiring because, you know, when children get they own and into their own and making their own and doing this and that you know they just be like bump that you know i'm about to buy all the shoes that i want you know do all of this stuff that i want to do my drip you know this and that then his first thing is is that like a just because package will show up for me or you know a just because envelope or, or something and it's just be like mom because i believe in you and at that time in that moment because you try to be so strong in front of others that they don't see you sometimes crying or doing the things behind closed doors of the struggle of what that you yourself sometimes go through that god can use that and that he'll say and you be a, he's able to be used and he inspires me to say mom keep pushing we got this we got this we're going to see this through. So, yeah, I will have to say that, you know, he, he does inspire me. He continues to inspire me, even though I'm the mama. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Uh, it's too blessed. No problem.
So I'm here with my boy Caleb. His Instagram will be on the screen. Yes, so I'm here to ask him three questions. So the first question is, what's the most impactful thing you've seen or heard the coach do? Impactful thing, yo. He's just trying to spread the movement, bro. I just straight up, my guy is just trying to spread love and basketball, trying to put the Billy on the map. You know, so like, I mean, obviously the Billy's not the best place out here in the world, you know, no matter what, but just positivity, just grinding, you know, and, and trying to make something for, for himself and, uh, and the future people. Um, my guy, like I said, the coach, bro, gotta check out his merch too. Right? <laughs> yes, sir. But no, nah, no, nah, for real, for real, though, like I said, he's always positive. He's always smiling. My dude, my dude's always giving, like, advice, and he's always willing to learn. And that's probably the best thing I could, like, you know, ask somebody to do is just be open to other people's opinions and advice. So, <laughs> Second question is, who's the coach to you, or how would you describe him to others that don't know him? Um... My guy, bro, like I said, whenever, I, whenever I've been out here for four years, and once I met him, like, bro, like, he's just, like I said, just positive, positive, like, that's all, you, that's all I gotta say, my guy is positive, and when I talk about him, because to be honest, I did talk about you to Eredizi and Professor, oh, yeah. yes sir, and so, um, obviously Eredizi, he gave you all the advice yeah. and everything, what yeah. to do, and, and he loved how, how, you could take criticism, how you could take anything, and and when I explain them to other people, other people, I said, bro, all I could say is that. Explain them to somebody, like I said, he's just he's just a good guy. He he wants to learn, give, like I said, give our advice and help people. That's probably the best thing I could actually say is that he's a genuine dude. All right, last question is: Has the coach inspired you before? Inspired me before, to be honest, yeah, because I said, to be honest, you start YouTube. I don't have a YouTube yet, mm. and the thing is, is like how you said it. You told you told me one time, and I believe like I said it, it, I actually kind of took it into heart because when when he told me like you know you should start YouTube, professors told me to start YouTube, and DZ told me to start YouTube, but like but he said something to me where I was just like it's true. Like what what, what do you got to lose? That's really what it comes down to is like, what do you got to lose? Um, Cause like, you're gonna start from the ground up no matter what, no matter whether you're working hard for yourself, no matter if you start a business, you gotta grind, you gotta start it, you know? And who cares what people think because they're gonna worry about their own insecurities. So that's really what it comes down to is like, he told me is like, no matter what, start it. Who cares what people think and do what you gotta do. And, and obviously move forward and push, towards your dreams and that's that's like I said that's probably the most inspirational thing I could say is because it's it's true you know bro this is <laughs> but that's that's really the most inspirational thing I could say is that um you, you know keep moving forward follow your dreams and and I said man who cares what people think because be you that's really what it is God made you for a reason and that's that's literally the path you want Whatever path he wants you to follow, you gotta follow that path and stick to it. Sorry, right, then appreciate you. Well, so I'm just here to ask him three questions. You guys know how it goes. What's the most impactful thing you've seen or heard the coach do? Well, obviously, you think, when you think of the coach, like the YouTube coach, and like you think like he always bring God, God to us and his family. Well, he, he like um cares about people like. He, he checks up on them and like make sure they're doing like straight, they're on the right path and like yeah, I don't know, I don't know what else. He, I mean, like, it's just like his impact on other people's lives. Like he like lightens them up and like he can get them to laugh. And um, I want to tell y'all a story, a story. Okay, so back in like sixth grade, you know, I was talking like. <laughs> 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 yeah, and like the coach would tell you that. Yeah. I was talking stupid. But um He was always there for me, like on the bus rides home, he was always there next to me, like he like understood me. So sometimes, sometimes. Most of the time, most of the part, yeah. yeah. And then like 
it was like a, it kind of like helped me do middle school in a way because I was like, did I make that a lot of friends? Huh? But like, true friends? I don't think so. Yeah. Like, people would come and go, but I knew the coach Michael for about eight years. Yeah. So that's a long way. Alright, so next question, who's the coach to you or how would you describe him to others that don't know him? Is like very like uplifting, very like spiritual, spiritual. Like, yeah, you, know, you, so you can say it's spiritual. Yeah, and like he's a good boy. He has to be like mentally strong to that, not to like get fall like weak to get down to that level. Mm -hmm. If you see other people doing it, it doesn't mean like he has to do it. So yeah. All right. Now has the coach. Last question, has the coach inspired you before? Yeah. Yeah. What would, you like, what would your message be to, um, I mean, people that look up to you, because, I mean, people never know that, you know, some people really look up to you. Like, we all yeah. don't know that. There's a bunch of people, but what would you be your message to people that look up to you or that are looking for inspiration and something they want to do? Like, what would be your advice oh. to them? Don't give up. Um, everyone starts from a different path. Everyone starts, some start here, some start down low. Like for me, I start, I think I start low because I couldn't speak English that good. Mm -hmm. So I got made fun of them and I, that made my mental mind kind of like negative. Mm -hmm. So it's like the way I would look at people. And then, but you have to like just keep going and you get out. And guess what? The people that are up here, they're comfortable being up here. But you, you're still going up. Like, you're not comfortable being just okay. Like, you want to get better still. Mm -hmm. Just have that mindset of, like, getting better. All right. Thank you for your time, sir. My sister, beauty underscore intelligence. I'll let you look her Instagram be on the screen. I'm here to ask you three questions and answer them to you the best of your ability. And the first question is, what's the most impactful thing you've seen? I heard the coach do. Well, for starters, believe in your dreams. Uh, start the your YouTube channel, and you know, branch out, put the veil on the map. You know, start the coach closing line. All right, so. The next question is, who is the coach to you, or how would you describe him to others that don't know him? The coach to me is a very positive, a very inspiring person, very helpful to others, very encouraging. Yeah. Alright, last question is, has the coach inspired you before? Yes, and he still inspires me now to never give up, to keep going. That's good. Alright, well, your last thing, what would you give, like, if you had, you know, some people that look up to, which you never know, like, what would you say to people that's trying to start something, like, as, as even females, like, you know, talking not just to males, but males and females, like, what would you have to say to them? Like, if they wanted to start doing something, like, what would be your message or your advice? To never give up and to keep trying because you will succeed. Okay. Yeah, and nothing's too big. All right, well, thank you for your time. I'm here with... I'm here with my brother, Mr. 180. I'm Alex Warren. His Instagram will be on the screen. I'm going to ask you three questions. Answer them to the best of your ability. The first question is, what's the most impactful thing you've seen or heard the coach do? Impactful is not necessarily judged by the actions that you do, but it's about the care that you give. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And so for his friends and how he's always there, inspiring them and motivating them to be the best version of themselves that's the most inspiring thing that you can ever do is help someone discover who they really are 
right, next question is, who's the coach to you, or how would you describe him to others that don't know him? The coach is, a.k.a. Michael, my little brother. As I stated in the first documentary, I'm proud to see that he used to be a shy little kid. He used to hate how people looked at him and how people th thought of him. And now he's this young man just flourishing out here. So I would describe him as a young man who uh, is a God-fearing young man who loves the Lord and who loves others and truly has a heart for humanity. So if you don't know, now you know. All right, last question is, has the coach inspired you before? Absolutely. He, like I just told you, he's inspired me with just how his life has did a 180. No pun intended on how he went from shy to now he's this outspoken, flourishing young man who aka think he a ladies man, but that's another that's another topic for another day. But yeah. Alright, and last thing I would say, what would you give advice to um your kids that's just getting out of high school now or been out of high school and they still don't know what they want to do, what like what would be your advice to them? Man, my advice to you, first off I wanna congratulate you for making making it through one of the toughest times in America where you had to go to school virtually. I know it's already hard to pay attention when the teacher's lecturing you in person, but now she's lecturing you or he's lecturing you through a computer screen and you don't really necessarily have to pay attention. So the simple fact that you've made it through this time, it shows your endurance, it shows your perseverance, it shows your strength, and it also shows that you have the ability to adapt. One of my models is if you don't have the ability to adapt, you will get left behind. So the simple fact that you guys have the ability to adapt and adjust, you guys are going to kill it. So as far as you, it's time to discover purpose. Live your life with significance. And how you discover purpose is look at some of the things that you enjoy doing, some of the things that you love doing. If they didn't pay you a dime to do, would you still do it? So those are just some areas on how you discover purpose. Now that you guys heard from the people nearest and dearest to my heart, pour out of how much I inspired them, but it's just as much as they inspire me are still inspiring me daily to keep doing what I'm doing just as well as you guys that watch this documentary that support me daily, that let me know in person when you talk to me how much you love the vids and how it's inspiring you guys. This was here, like I said, to promote love, positivity, joy, inspiration of God, not promote self-righteousness or boast or be boastful or take on a account of I'm better than you guys, which I know I'm not. We're all the same, but different, but still the same. We all serve one God. Like I stated earlier, I love y'all. Stay great and blessed and never stress. I hope you found your why. I hope you found your purpose. You guys are so, so, so important in this life. Y'all got to understand your love by a lot that you don't know behind closed doors. There could be a bunch of people praying for you behind closed doors. So you're loved. You're important. Your soul matters. You have a purpose. Stay positive and inspired. Be great and blessed and never stress. And I love y'all. Peace. All right, Mike, first question I got for you today is if you could spend 24 hours with any human being, dead or alive, who would you choose and why? Honestly, who would I choose? That's actually a tough one. I probably really would choose. No, I would look and kind of choose my best friend that's uh, passed away. Mm. I I'll probably choose her because she was, it was always cool. Hanging out with her, hanging out with her in the like the time we had, because obviously she didn't make it past high school. You know what I'm saying, all that stuff. But like, it would low key spend 24 hours just you know a person that's not there, because she was really cool. You know, just I wish I could be to present day. You know, us already graduating, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying, just see her in better spirits. You know, I don't like to see somebody gone true to me that I love. So honestly, I'll just say my best friend. Okay. Nice. All right, next question I got for you is what made you want to start a YouTube channel? So what made me want to start a YouTube channel, honestly, we can go way back then. I've always been a kid that like liked to be in front of the camera. Like my mom has it on her camcorder. Like I said, that's old school dinosaur if you don't know what that is. But 
I I would just get there be you guys know the dishwasher is so I would just get in the dishwasher, take out all the dishes, stand on there and just like have a concert. My mom would record me all the time, but like I was always a kid that just kinda liked to be I could say in the limelight with things, but I just thought it'd be cool, you know, to document my life, spread positivity, joy, inspiration. I thought I could do it well is because it's something I grew up on, you know what I'm saying? Being more of a kid that was shy, now I'm more out my shell. I just feel like I can reach so many more people just through this like channel. So that's why I like really what made me want to start one. All right. If YouTube didn't exist, what would you be pursuing to do for a living? I probably would try to go to the league, but <laughs> I'll be trying to go to the league. I'm not going to lie. Try to do the NBA dream. I wish I could kind of go back on it, but then sometimes it's like, I got to meet the people. I still get to meet the people I love through basketball, but like I don't think I would be the same person now if I was more like really, really diehard focused into basketball. Like I should have been or would have been, whatever. But I probably would just be trying to go to the league, NBA. I'm not gonna lie. All right. So, what is your ultimate goal as not only a YouTuber but as an entrepreneur in general? Ultimate goal is to basically. As an entrepreneur, I do, like, I have a clothing line, you guys know that, my previous video. I just want to be able to, like, reach people that, like, you know, can't wear, it's not going to be nothing expensive like Gucci or nothing, I'm not trying to make it, like, designer to all of that, but it's like, I just want people to represent something that represents positivity, joy, inspiration, so, like, as an intro, entrepreneur type of thing, that's what I want, you know, for my people as well for like my clothing line i just want that to grow like branch out i was like i'm dreaming my own thing when i found out nike and all this stuff own their own brand i just wanted to do that and have people wear it that close to me and not even close to me just a, a here for made for a race for like you can wear that because it's not just for me it's whatever you're here for made for and race for to do so that's my goal just to branch out in that spread positivity and the entrepreneur route as well as youtube route so. all right all right, last question I got for you. This might be a tough one. So you have two choices. You either get a one-year minimum contract on the Lakers, or you get a, or you get handed to you a fan base of 500K on YouTube to work with. Which one are you choosing and why? Probably I would probably take the 500K. And the reason being, I mean, I want to grow. I know this is a, one of the platforms I want to use to like grow on and go, so I'll probably take 500K because it's a bunch of supporters behind me and it can help me in the long run. Yes. You're in the NBA, you're in the league, but like, what else are you doing besides that? I know just yeah. hooping, people know you as a hooper. Like, I want people to know me more. It's like, he was inspirational, he was positive. He wanted to like really get back to his own, not just chase a hoop dream and then get the cars, the money, the girls, like that type of stuff. So I'd rather do the 500K, honestly. So, yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your time, the coach. Those are all the questions I have for you today. Yes, sir. Any last words to your subscribers? Hey bro, you know what it is. Stay positive and inspired, y'all.